good, y'all. It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to talk about the Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair segment that was on SmackDown this past week. Uh, it was surrounded in some controversy, man. I did watch the segment on YouTube, and something was off. It was, it was like, it wasn't, certain things weren't planned. Like, the whole title being thrown and dropped um by um charlotte flair that wasn't playing like it you can tell there was some real tension between becky and charlotte that was not supposed to happen and in the process the titles got thrown on the ground like they're trash and to be honest with you it, it is a bad look to see that on television because these boats are supposed to have some prestige to them but when you're throwing them on the ground like that it doesn't seem like you care about them. They don't seem that important. Like, that's just like someone, that's like you see the, the WWE champion just throw the belt on the ground. And I didn't even like the whole exchange aspect because I think it takes away from the legitimacy of these belts. Oh, well, because the opposite stars are opposite brand champions. Let's have them swap the belts. No, there should be a match involved where the belt switch whoever has is it whoever possesses it whatever show they're at on like i, I don't know they could have booked that better i just felt like that's kind of lazy booking for them it's just well give me that championship well give me that championship there we go like no have a match happen where if the person loses or whatnot maybe the championship goes to the other brand or you unify the belts because honestly the division the women's division is not that big enough to have two separate belts but that's a conversation for another day but apparently charlotte has some heat and people are, are supporting becky lynch in this situation because apparently after this segment there was a uh a confrontation becky and uh charlotte had a confrontation backstage about it and uh it seems like charlotte flair has some heat backstage so we're gonna check this out this is from bleacher report WWE superstars support Becky Lynch after rumored confrontation with Charlotte. We're going to get right into this. The WWE locker room has reportedly sided with Becky Lynch over Charlotte Flair after their heated argument at Friday's SmackDown. PW Insider reported there is no backstage heat on Lynch, who, had, who was seen as merely defending herself against Flair, who derailed their in-ring title exchange to close the show. Fightful Select previously reported Flair was asked uh, was asked to leave the arena before Lynch finished her dark match. There has been increasing tensions with Flair backstage, who is seen as difficult to work with. PW Torch previously reported Flair disrespected Lynch and undermined Sasha Banks when she threw the Raw Women's Championship on the ground during the exchange with Lynch, which was not part of the script. This is what happened there. Becky Lynch was grabbing for the title, and she threw the belt. So, Becky Lynch throws the belt at Charlotte, and Charlotte doesn't catch it, and it falls. So, I'm like, Th that was not supposed to happen. You can tell that wasn't supposed to happen. It makes the belts, don't, it don't make them look that prestigious when you just, here you go, just throwing it. Like, that's kind of messed up, you know what I'm saying? So, Banks later interrupted the segment to set up a few and position herself as the top babyface women, uh, babyface woman on SmackDown. Lynch and Flair then got in a heated altercation backstage after the show went off air. All Elite Wrestling Andrade uh, L, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. You know, you know him as L, uh, L Dr uh, Andrade in WWE. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. L Dolo. Uh, who is engaged to Flair, tweeted, F-U-W-W-E, late Friday night. It's unclear if the tweet and Flair's incident are related, as Andrade has a mat had a match on AEW Rampage the same night against Pac, another former WWE talent. And uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Just, you know, kind of straight, straight to the point, uh, you know, straight to the point. Uh, but my honest opinion on it, uh, don't know what Charlotte Flair is really going through. Not sure if she's trying to find her way out the company. But, uh, yeah, that just was a bad look. That whole segment, it didn't come off as, like, cool in a sense. You know how WWE sometimes bring real-life feuds to storylines? This wasn't it. This didn't come off, like, 
engaging in a cool sense. This came off like, yo, what's happening here? Like, why why are they throwing the titles on the ground? Like, what's what's going on? So, and uh, some there are some reports that this stems from way back, a few years ago, when Becky uh, had pretty much called Charlotte Plastic or whatnot, I believe in a promo segment or whatever. This is when Becky was getting over, and I'm guessing Charlotte Flair didn't like that. So they've always had some issues and tensions behind the scenes, but it's one of those things where this came to the forefront on a segment, and ultimately it made both the championships look like toys. It, like, oh, this is a toy I don't really care for. You know what I'm saying? So, comment down below. Let me know. Who do you guys agree with is at fault in this whole situation? Do you believe Charlotte was being a little bit petty and throwing the title? Do you believe Becky Lynch uh, was being petty in her situation and throwing the title at her or whatnot? Do you believe they were both being petty and unprofessional at the time? And it kind of made the segment awkward. Like, let me know where you guys land on this. Me, it just did not look good. It, it, it just, it made people watching it live. I'm sure, like, yo, what, what's happening here? Uh, is this supposed to happen? Like, just kind of more, co more so confused than like entertained. Just like, okay, if it wasn't for Sasha coming out there saving the segment, I'm not sure how it would have went. But it just looked very. Uh, very awkward, man. So, comment down below. Let me know who you guys feel like was at fault. Was it Becky? Was it uh, uh, was it uh, Charlotte? Or was it both of them? They both are to blame for that segment being kind of a train wreck. But I uh, appreciate all the love and support. Road 2. 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.